happening right now. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi there, watching from the BRICS summit. And again, those figures, you can see them going down and down, just 500 meters now above uh, the moon's surface. As India the waits and watches as well as the vertical velocity some of those watching parties that we've been reduced. showing you up and down the country. And the lander module has begun its descent towards the landing site. Less than 300 meters now for the Chandrayaan-3, the lander named Vikram after Vikram Sarabhai, the, uh, the founder of the Indian Space Research Organization. This is such a big moment for everybody there. India potentially only the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon. If they can bring this lander down in one piece, then eventually release the Pragyan rover to explore this, this crucial part of the south pole of the moon. Nobody's man the, uh, managed a soft landing uh, like this on the moon before. There's a lot, a lot to discover, but also a lot that could go wrong at this stage. I've just been describing to you how the difficult surface. the moon's surface is just there, the craters that they're trying to avoid. जी हां आप अगर फिर से ध्यान से देखें तो एल्टीट्यूड पुनः कम होता जा रहा है अभी हम लोग लगभग लगभग 135 मीटर की ऊंचाई पे हैं द सेंसर्स दैट आर अपडेटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंफर्मेशन ऑफ द सेफ्टी ऑफ द लैंडिंग साइट आई हैज एक्सपेक्टेड द रीटारगेटिंग इज गोइंग ऑन एंड दिस इज अ वेरी गुड सिग्नेचर फॉर द लैंडर so they think they've picked a good site, less than a hundred meters now to go. Currently, only two engines are now being fired and uh, we are nearly at zero velocity, vertical and horizontal. We, are, we were hovering and now we are approaching the moon's surface. धीरे धीरे लैंडर की वेगबान को कम किया जा रहा है और हम अब लगभग 50 मीटर से भी कम आ चुके हैं। We can see the Honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage us, and he is critically looking at the visuals. जी हाँ, आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम लैंडर मॉड्यूल पीपल आर एप्लॉडिंग लेट अस ऑल वेट टू हियर फ्रॉम द सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस एंड चेयरमैन इसरो श्री एस सोमनाथ लैंडर मॉड्यूल पूरी तरह से सेफली और सॉफ्टली चंद्रमा के सतह पे लैंड हो चुका है ये हम लोगों के लिए बहुत ही गर्व की बात है हिंदी में एक कहावत है कि चंदा मामा दूर के लेकिन अब हम ये कह सकते हैं कि चंदा मामा अपने घर के बहुत ही उम्दा द हार्ड वर्क ऑफ द एंटायर इसरो कम्युनिटी हैज कम टू फ्रूशन We are watching uh, these live pictures of, of joy, jubilation, celebration in Bengaluru. Sir, I request, I request our honourable minister to address us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. मेरे प्यारे परिवारजनों जब हम अपनी आंखों के सामने ऐसा इतिहास बनते हुए देखते हैं सो एज यू कैन सी दैट द 
the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, um, who is at the BRICS summit in South Africa. He is uh, at the moment addressing mission control in, uh, in Bengaluru. We saw just those wonderful pictures, didn't we, of, of people uh, taking to their feet, applauding uh, up and down the country at some of these watching parties. So you can see, again, celebration, flags, people with their mobile phones in the air, filming people around them, filming the moment. This makes uh, India only the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon and crucially the first to land in the area of the moon's south pole. This is such an, an unexplored area. It is a, a part of the moon that, that scientists knew, knew very little about. They knew that it was a dangerous place to land and that's why nobody's tried it before. Uh, Dr. Maggie Lewis is still with us, research fellow at Nottingham University who worked at the European Space Agency uh, on the, uh, the Mars Orbiter program. Um, Dr. Lou, just, just watching this, watching, watching those, those faces of, of delight, what they have achieved is extraordinary, isn't it? It's so extraordinary. It's so amazing to see what a community has, has come together to achieve. It's a huge achievement. Um, and, and it means that there's so much amazing science that is going to come with this. I think previously, um, on the channel, you spoke about how water is important for human exploration on the moon and settling up um, settlements and colonies on the moon, but also it can help us propel us further out into the solar system um, because the water on the moon can be split up to hydrogen and oxygen, which can be used in liquid propellants for further fuel to go out and explore essentially the entire solar system. So it's it's really exciting. It is, and, and it's an achievement that, that you know, deserves a, a moment of reflection because, of course, it was a Russian mission just a few days ago. They tried to do exactly the same thing with their Luna 25, and it, it crashed. It, it didn't make it. So it just goes to show that, that this is still an enormously difficult thing to achieve. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's so difficult. Um, and the hardest part is over. That, that's final 15 minutes of terror, especially um, when, it, when it was going into the fine breaking, I was kind of worried because that's where they failed previously. Um, so um, that's all really exciting. And in a couple of hours time, they'll be putting the rover hopefully um, onto the lunar surface. So um, already they'll be, they'll be getting on with it rather than just um, being able to celebrate. And you were talking there about, about, about the next stage already, because that's what we do, isn't it? As soon as they achieve one thing, we move straight on to the next. And, and that, as you mentioned, is, is, is bringing out the rover. So they, they will do that in the next few hours, will they? Um, supposedly so. Um, over the next couple of hours, they'll be releasing the rover, um, but carefully, again, uh, scanning surroundings to make sure that there are no hazards around um, to safely deploy it. And how long will this, this mission take? Because they've timed it, specifically timed it, haven't they, to, to coincide with the beginning of a, of a lunar day. Just tell us more about what, what that means in, in practical terms as well. Um, so I'm not really sure um, how long the mission is planned for, um, but usually when missions go up, there will be limited amounts of fuel and, and energy to expense. Um, so you, you, can't, you can't send endless amounts of fuel up. So typically these things will run either by nuclear or solar powered. So you are limited in what you can do and uh, you wanna do it as quickly as possible. And just even as we're talking, I'm just looking at these these continuing uh, live pictures from from Mission Control, um, and and that real contrast. Obviously, you can see the uh, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is he is addressing those people, but on the same same the same side, you can see people. They're up on their feet. They're smiling. They're cheering. They're they're waving for the camera. Um, it, it's an enormous moment of of relief for them, isn't it? Because I mean, how much work goes into something like this in, in terms of hours, in terms of time? 
absolutely endless hours will go into this. I mean, missions like these will be planned many years in advance, and then you have to get it through um, many stages before it's even built. Um, this was the last is essentially chance for them to land on the moon um, as part of of their Chandrayaan series. Um, so I, I'm sure it's a huge relief for all of those involved. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Maggie Liu. Uh, we'll, we'll talk uh, talk more very soon as we continue to watch these live pictures. Uh, Narendra Modi has been uh, telling people there at Mission Control India is now on the moon. This is a landmark moment. Uh, Arti Holomani is, uh, is with us, the incoming director for the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. Um, thank you for, for joining us once again from, uh, from Peterborough in Canada. Um, you were reflecting a little earlier on, on what this means for India, a huge moment for India, but also a, a huge moment for space exploration as well, isn't it, Arti? Absolutely. I mean, without this, uh, the world would not be able to move forward with its plans to put uh, a moon base and colonies on the moon. This is pro this is going to provide invaluable data on which to take those next Arty, steps. I'm just going to pause you for one second. I think Narendra Modi is speaking English and now. Let's have a listen to what he has to say. Had been welcome universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity. And it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I am confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. We can all aspire for the moon and beyond. Mere parivar jano, chandrayaan maha biyan ke yuplabdi, भारत की उड़ान को चंद्रमा की कक्षाओं से आगे जाएगी हम हमारे सौर मंडल की सीमाओं का सामर्थ्य परखेंगे और मानव के लिए ब्रह्मांड की अनेक संभावनाओं को साकार करने के लिए भी जरूर uh, काम करेंगे हमने भविष्य के लिए uh, he was talking about about also helping helping other countries as well with their own moon missions in terms of, of what they learned from this. Um, Arti Holomani, that that's an important point actually, isn't it? Because it is something I think when you look at, at space exploration that is still far more internationally collaborative actually than, than many other parts of society. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, even when you look back at India's space program, starting, or the moon mission, starting with Chandrayaan-1, already then, even though it was an Indian mission, they carried six instruments from other countries. Chandrayaan-2 was originally intended to be a collaboration with the Russians. Unfortunately, that didn't go ahead for, for uh, domestic reasons, um, so it became an Indian mission again. But with single... Chandrayaan 1, 2, and 3, they are, there are instruments from other countries which are going, and these instruments will, will be used to carry out absolutely important uh, experiments um, and, and uh, fact-finding uh, data, collecting data, etc., which will be crucial for the next steps. Uh, Arti Holomani, thanks for joining us again, the incoming director for the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. Are you watching continuing coverage here on BBC News of a huge moment for India, a huge moment for space exploration. The Chandrayaan-3 mission has landed safely 
and successfully near the South Pole of the Moon, the first nation to manage to do that. All missions before now have landed near the equator. This is the first one that will be able to, to really look at the richness of the Moon's surface around the South Pole, possibly look for, for water ice. Uh, it's worth saying as well, you can follow all of this uh, on our li live page on, uh, on the BBC News website. Uh, a lot of reaction and context on there as well. I'm, I've been particularly excited, Archana Shikla, our correspondent, to talk to you again at, uh, at the planetarium there. Um, you are, I mean, you are as excited as, as everybody else. This, this was just a, a really, really wonderful moment to watch for, for people at those watching parties as well as people at Mission Control. Absolutely, and it's extremely proud to be an Indian standing here watching such a big space mission successfully land uh, on a trickier uh, a part of the moon, the South Pole, and India create history. When inside, uh, you can see people are coming out after the screening here. Uh, there was pin drop silence right before Vikram lander touched on the moon surface, and the moment it did, it was full, uh, the room was full of claps, uh, unending claps. People were hugging each other congratulating each other because it's a victory for all Indians here as India created history um, and uh, they were uh, they were chanting slogans patriotic slogans uh, just as uh, Vikram Lander touched on the lunar surface and I have um, a young uh, Indian here uh, who says she's very proud this is Gargi she's 10 years old Gargi uh, you were inside when Vikram Lander touched on the moon surface what yes. did you feel? I feel very proud of our India and I I was very excited to see and I was very excited to come here and watch the Chandrayaan 3 soft landing on the moon. Oh, and are you, are you going to like watch this for the next few days because they're going to do more exploration on the moon. Are you excited to know what they gather? Yes, I am very excited. Yeah, in the school are you going to talk about this to your friends? Yes, I will tell my teacher. Okay, so tell me, when it landed on the moon and you were watching, what did you say? I said, I clapped her, clapped the hands. Yeah, and you said, I'm proud of India. Yes, I said. Well, this is Gargi. She was extremely proud, um, as all of us here in India, um, as the country has created history. And like uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was pointing out, this space mission is not going to limit India's ambitions just to the moon, but it will take it beyond. And, and that is something the space industry, uh, young space enthusiasts like Gargi and all of us here are waiting for, is to see India uh, take this uh, milestone achievement and make more of it. We've seen a lot of startups come up in the last four years since the private prayers have been allowed to uh, participate in, uh, in, in the space industry. Um, and it's an economy uh, that's growing, bringing more jobs, uh, bringing more excitement for the country. Archana, thank you. Archana Shukla at uh, the watching party there at the planetarium in Mumbai. Uh, let's... Uh, just spend a few moments. Look at these pictures. We've been bringing you these live pictures from Mission Control uh, in like Bengaluru. Let's, uh, let's listen in for a few moments as they, uh, they make these, these congratulatory and speeches there. Team members for carrying out and supporting all the things in a carrying out in a proper way. Thank you very much. Associate Project Director Kalpana. Good evening to all. This will remain the most memorable and the happiest moment for all of us, for our team, Chandrayaan 3. <laughs> we, have achieved, we have achieved our goal flawlessly from the day we started rebuilding our spacecraft after Chandrayaan 2 experience. It has been breathe in, breathe out Chandrayaan 3 for our team. And uh, starting from the reconfiguration to all the special tests and the simulations we have conducted meticulously and this has been possible only because of our immense effort from our Chandrayaan 3 team and of course with the, with the guidance with the guidance from our chairman ISRO, our directors and all our experts with all this it has been possible Thank you one and all. Thank you for all the minutest help which has been provided from all the areas of uh, departments. Thank you. Thank you. Now Chandrayaan 3 is a result of the work done by 
thousands of scientists, engineers, our staff and industries and support team across ISRO and other places, other institutions. And Shankaran has been the lead of the center which you know, integrated all of these efforts in the last so many years. So I request him to speak on behalf of all of you. Thank you very much for the affection that has been displayed today now. Today, uh, we have achieved what we set out to achieve in 2019. It was delayed by about four years, but we have done it. When uh, Chandrayaan-3 was launched, after the separation of the spacecraft from launch vehicle, I said, I will speak the rest of the things after the soft landing. So he will, here I will take a couple of minutes to tell the tremendous amount of effort that has been put in by the entire project team. When I say project team, it is not just only uh, the project director and uh, associate project director. Of course, they are the face of the project. They have been living, sleeping, eating, breathing Chandrayaan for the last four years. They have been supported by such a large number of people, particularly in their navigation, guidance and control area, propulsion system. This area, the amount of effort that has been put by people, the number of simulations that have been done, the number of reviews they have gone through, the amount of criticism they faced and uh, overcome that, it is, uh, I, as a person who has been watching this uh, for the last uh, four years along with them, my heart feels, my heart goes out for them. The amount of effort is tremendous. That is what ISRO is all about. That is what our organization has taught us to do. Now today this success has put us even more higher responsibility as the Honorable Prime Minister was telling because we have set the bar now so high. Nothing, nothing less than, nothing less spectacular than this is going to be inspiring for any, any of us in the future. So as the Honorable Prime Minister mentioned, we will, we will be now looking at putting the man in uh, space, putting a spacecraft around uh, Venus and landing a craft in Mars. Work on all these activities are going on for a few years. And uh, this success today will inspire us and will spur us to take those efforts even more strongly so that we will make our country proud again and again and again. Thank you very much for every one of you who have directly or indirectly participated in this mission, encouraged us, intentionally or unintentionally helped us in, in all, 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 for every one of, every one of you. A big thank you because even, even a, a casual remark, an unintended point can, can help a person who is uh, striving to reach a goal, it, the person who is making that remark may not have meant it that way, but sometimes it can ignite a... Uh, that's why I, I said that even unintended help is, uh, is very, very, very uh, welcome and we are very, very thankful for that. Thank you, Team ISRO, for uh, supporting all of us. The amount of affection I, we received when this mission came into this final stage, the number of people who gave us confidence that nothing can go wrong and uh, this is going to be successful. The amount, the, in fact, I was not that much confident because uh, we have seen a couple of times uh, issues because I, I know very well as a, as a person who has been doing in this, uh, in this domain for 36 years, I know there are thousands of things, any of that could have, can anytime go wrong and derail, but so many of the people because 
that i only see as the reflection of the effort we have put that people are so 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 happy to see this effort and they want us to succeed it is not that uh, we are they know that we are going to succeed the people want us to succeed so thank you very much for uh, everyone for your love and affection we will continue to do our best and make our flag fly isros as well as india's flag fly high thank you very much You're uh, watching these, these live pictures Honourable from Mission Prime Control me, in Bengaluru. You can hear all of these people who've been involved in the mission taking their moment to, to thank their colleagues, uh, to really tell the world what this means to them. Uh, so thank, uh, thanks are to him for the support that he is giving to us for missions like Chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing. I think that's a great word of you know, comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country and maybe beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and, and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years. I want to specifically thank uh, some senior people who have been standing with us, especially the name of Kiran Kumar, sir. <clears throat> and Mr. Kamalakar, Sri Koteshwar Rao. They have been helping so much. They were part of the team to help them to get the confidence and get the reviews done to ensure that nothing goes uh, with any mistakes. And of course, this is not the work of us alone. This is a work of a generation of ISRO leadership and ISRO scientists. And this is a journey we started in Chandrayaan 1, continued in Chandrayaan 2, and Chandrayaan 2 craft is still working and doing a lot of communication and work with us. And all the team that contributed to building Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2 should be remembered and thanked while we celebrate Chandrayaan 3. And this is an incremental progress and definitely a great, huge one it is. And thank you so much for all the support and work that you have done. Thank you. You're watching here all of the, uh, the Indian scientists, engineers, physicists, all of the people who've uh, been working on this mission over the last uh, four years or so. They keep talking about that because, of course, Chandrayaan 2, the predecessor to this mission, uh, was not the success that Chandrayaan 3 was. Uh, the last one, they felt the heartbreak of, of seeing it crash land on the moon. So today really is a moment that they have been working towards, waiting for, for the last few years. And you can really, you can really see what it, what it means to them. The relief, the excitement, the joy on their faces. Uh, Dr. Maggie Liu uh, is, uh, is still with us, research fellow at Nottingham University, worked at the European Space Agency. They, they deserve this, don't they? Because you know, after the, as we were saying, the heartbreak of, of losing a mission, to see one which was so difficult on paper succeed is a special moment, isn't it? It is a special moment and they definitely deserve this. It's been great to see all the smiles and the excitement and not only in, in the center there with all the people who have worked on the mission, but all around like India with the young kids, you can see how this is inspired like the next generation of space scientists essentially and other people who will work in the space sector. I think it's really great. Like just seeing their excitement being kind of translated, um, transferred uh, on to the next generation. Um, I, I think it's really great that we're seeing so many women working in it as well. Um, and there are like young girls that are inspired to do STEM subjects because of this. Um, there, the, this is kind of the start to the very next chapter in space. And we're going to be seeing a lot more kind of action in space in the next coming years, especially with um, NASA and Artemis II potentially sending humans to the moon and the development of a space station around the moon and then a colony. Um, this is the first kind of step um, towards those future endeavors and a whole like a whole adventure to come.